Hey there guys, Daryl Griffiths here once again for Jump Cut Online. Hope your week has been going great. Uh, my latest review from Edinburgh Film Festival for you now. It's been a long day here. Uh, certainly the longest of the week. Uh, three films in all. Mrs. Lowry and Son, Bittersweet Symphony. And the one I am going to talk to you now about, and quite eagerly, I must say. It is in the American Dream strand of the festival. It is, if you can make it out here, it is Skin, starring Mr. Jamie Bell, who's having a brilliant year already. And, and I'm a big fan of the guy. He's certainly come a long way from the likes of Billy Elliot uh, in his uh, f formative years. And uh, Rocket Man, of course, uh, playing Bernie Taupin alongside Taron Egerton, Elton John, and of course Richard Madden. Uh, he was quietly impressive in that. I don't think he got enough praise personally uh, in what I consider to be one of my 2019 faves so far. Um, and people who know me best are probably sick of me talking about Rocket Man, Full Stop, and Elton John. So it's a good job Jamie Bell has a new film uh, for me to talk about. This is far more serious and far darker in tone and territory. And going into the film, I had no inclination um, that it was inspired by true events uh, skin. It, uh, Bell's character, Brian Widner, was uh, infamous for his notoriety in white supremacism and uh, neo-Nazis, that kind of horrid field. Um, and after a number of years, he had a complete reformation of his character and formed an unlikely friendship with a black activist called Daryl Jenkins, who led the Southern Poverty Law Centre, who was a long-term enemy of the group that Bell was immersed in and deep in the trenches of, as far as bigotry goes. And Daryl Jenkins, through various means, f thought that he was worth saving in a way, and he felt that for all the verbal bile that was spilling out and the heinous acts that were being carried out uh, by Bell's Brian, he still feels that there is, so, you know, some human emotion there. There is something worth saving and trying to eat care of him and, you know, just try and wash away, although a lot of pain is caused, wash away a lot of the pain and the bigotry that he has had his head filled with over time. And the group itself within the film is led by Bill Camp and Vera Farmiga. Vera Farmiga particularly, she is quite disarming. She's very cutesy with her uh, remarks saying, oh precious darling, especially to the younger contingent that they try to be quite tactful in their approach in trying to recruit these people into the group and bell the pet the power struggle that sort of occurs because he's very adamant that you know he doesn't really want to be involved in this anymore and a lot of that stems from danielle mcdonald who you may recognize from patty cakes she is the love interest here with three uh children and trying to form a solid family unit but of course with all this in the background it's a difficult job and skin for me has stolen the festival undoubtedly for me i think bell's performance is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so layered so nuanced that i haven't seen him like this ever i mean and i mean playing the neo-nazi you know it's quite the leap anyway but He's so committed to the cause. And I think the way he conveys that inner angst, particularly in his mental state and all the, I mean, he's literally layered in tattoos and he understands every meaning behind them all. And he literally just wants rid of it in an aesthetic sense and mentally as well. And I, I I'm willing to argue it's a career best for him. I think this is just a fantastic performance from him and he anchors it so well and it frees up the ensemble to sort of raise their game as well daniel mcdonald as you know she's tortured by brian really through all the acts that his group are trying to drag him back into and she 
is sort of the only one really sound of mind from the get-go, really. And she is terrific, uh, a terrific foil for Bell. Vera Farmiga and Bill Camp as the people who are, you know, articulating this bigotry on quite the scale uh, within this American landscape. They are both terrific as well. And I think the way it's just handled in, in general, I think in the current current climate, I mean, we look... I think the best example I could give is with certain actors or actresses, and we look back at things that they have said, particularly through, like, social media channels and whether it's quite bigoted or homophobic. And, you know, when they're in younger years, are we really willing to forgive them now? And it, I think with skin, it lays down that intriguing argument. Can such people who have been almost acclimatised and been filled with no, nonsense over the years and are trying to shake that off and trying to educate themselves, can we really forgive them? And that's the story of Brian Widner here. And now, um, as the film conveys, he's now doing, I think he's teaching classes or doing talks of inclusion and acceptance. And which, I mean, it's just a fascinating story that is told predominantly through Jamie Bell and and I just think it's a really taut, tightly plotted, superbly performed piece of work all round really, but Bell's just at the peak of his powers. It's a fan it's just a phenomenal performance and it's one of the year's best for me, I think. I really do. I think it's stolen the festival. I think it's going to be up there again. Uh, another film involving Bell, which I think speaks volumes of his talents. Um, but it's just a terrific story, brilliantly conveyed. And I think it's going to open up some interesting conversations beyond the film. And I think it should in, in its visceral and vital execution. Uh, of this true story and I really hope people do get out and see it because I appreciate that it's quite a heavy subject and maybe people don't want to be confronted by that at the moment um, particularly in America and you know what's filtering down from what's from people who are meant to lead the way in terms of equal rights and being tolerant towards each other um, and I probably could argue that for our own country, really, um, in the wake of such twisted politics. Um, but yeah, Skin, well worth a recommendation. And you will be treated to a career best performance from Jamie Bell. No doubt about it. So that is my review of Skin. I very much hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, the usual social media waffle from me now. Jump cut online. Facebook, like our page, Twitter, jumpcut underscore online, and the website itself, www.jumpcutonline.co.uk, where you'll find this video review and other reviews that I've put out already across the week from Edinburgh Film Fest. For now, that is a wrap. I've been Daryl Griffiths, and I will speak to you soon, guys, for more film reviews from the festival. Uh, take care. Bye-bye for now, and enjoy your weekend. Take care.